Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this glass morphic card to your blogger website. So here we can see when we hover over this card, we can see that we have these social media icons displayed over here. And when we hover over different parts of this card, we have this tilt animation as well. And the same goes with this card as well. So you can go ahead and add your own image over here. You can also change these names and you can also add new components over here like a paragraph or something like that. And I have shown you how to design this from scratch in my previous video. So you can go ahead and check that out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. Alright, so here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and let's go ahead and create a new post. So let's click on new post over here. And I'll just give it a title of glass morphic card. Now the first thing you have to do is go into the HTML view. So by default, it will be in this compose view over here. So you can just click on this button and go to the HTML view. And here we can add the HTML of our design. So let's go to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. Now we can just copy and paste the HTML to our blogger post. So let's copy from the start of this division card container and let's copy it till uh, the script tag over here. And I'll just copy and paste it in our blogger post. Now the next thing you have to do is uh, change the links of these images. So right now we have this link over here called images slash the image name. Now we don't have a folder called images in our blogger website. So we have to upload the image first and then get the link and add it over here. So I'll just make some space over here and I'll just insert the images over here. So I'll just go over here to insert image and click on upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. Here I'm in the project folder. Let's go to the images folder and let's select all of these images and click on open. You can go ahead and upload your own images over here. So I'll just select all these images and click on select. And let's select original size and let's click on OK. And here we can see all the images are inserted. I'll just make some space between these images. Alright, now let's copy the links of these images. So here we can see this is the link of the image for Twitter icon. So let's copy this link from here. And let's scroll down and here we can see this is the Twitter icon image. So let's delete this uh, link from here and uh, let's paste our updated link and we'll do the same with all the other images so here we can see this is the dribble icon image so let's copy this link and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, then we have the Facebook icon image so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and we have these same image links over here in the second card as well so let's copy all these anchor tags and I'll just replace it over here and here in the href you can just add the links of your social media page right now let's get the links of the person one and person two images so here we can see the person one image so I'll just copy this link and I'll just paste it over here and then we have this link for the person two image and I'll just paste it over here Right now the next thing we need to do is add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file. And I'll just copy everything from this card container selector and let's go all the way to the end. And I'll just copy everything and let's create a style tag over here. So let's tap style and I'll just close it over here. And inside this style tag I'll just paste all the CSS. And here in the CSS we need to change the link of this image right here so here we can see we have the link of the image over here so I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here all right now that we have added the HTML and the CSS let's delete all these links from here and let's publish our post and let's click on confirm and now let's view this post and let's see whether everything works all right so let's click on view and here we can see our card is working all right. When we hover over this, we have the social media icons displayed and we also have the tilt animation. So everything is working all right. And we also have this glass effect over here for this card. So that's how you add a glass morphic card to your blogger post. All right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.
Thank you.